Jimmy G a franchise quarterback? <clears throat> not yet, not to me. Um, he's good. He's not a scrub. Um, and I've shown him respect because I'm imagining other people are watching. I don't want to call him porn star Jimmy, even though he's worthy of that name. And, oh, by the way, it is not an insult. Um, but the bottom line is, is that um, I said what I said to George Kittle. I understand and I appreciate George Kittle and Emmanuel Sanders is now former teammate and others coming to his defense. But when I think about a franchise quarterback, I'm thinking about the face of the franchise. So much is riding on him. He's the clear leader, et cetera, et cetera. Um, when I think about the San Francisco 49ers, I think about Rich Richard Sherman in their secondary. I think about Nick Bosa in their defensive front line. Um, I think about the play calling of Kyle Shanahan. I even think about George Kittle. Long before I get to Jimmy Garoppolo, and I think that him throwing just eight passes in the NFC Championship game, albeit because they rushed for over 200 yards. Monster had a, had a, a, a blast. It had a great, great game. But you only throw eight passes, and then when it really, really counted, you were looking for Jimmy G to stop the bleeding, to come to the rescue. You're up 20 to 10. You know Patrick Mahomes is coming, but somehow, some way, you're not able to ward that off because offensively you were stalled. I'm going to look at that and I'm going to say that's not a franchise caliber quarterback. Now, that's not to say he can't be. It's not to say he doesn't have that potential. He is young. He is talented. I give him that. Uh, but do I look at him? When I think about a franchise quarterback, I think about the face of a franchise. I don't view Jimmy G that way. Jimmy G is not a top five quarterback. That's true. He's not Aaron Rodgers in his prime or Patrick Mahomes right now. And in fact, he lost to Patrick Mahomes because Patrick Mahomes can do things nobody else maybe ever can do. Patrick Mahomes right now is operating at a higher level probably than any football player who ever lived. So, like, yeah, he lost to that guy up 10 points in the Super Bowl in the fourth quarter. And Jimmy G does not have an accurate deep ball. I mean, if he hits Emmanuel Sanders on Sanders' steps, they win. And he, he missed. And he missed badly. And, and, you know, at least he didn't underthrow him. He didn't throw an interception. But, like, this is – that's who Jimmy G is. If Jimmy G had an accurate deep ball, now maybe he is a top five quarterback in the league. But you know who Jimmy G is, Stephen A.? We asked, is it Brady or is it Belichick? And everyone wants to say, look at Belichick's record before he came to the Patriots. No, 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 no. Let's look at Belichick's record with the Patriots, with and without Tom Brady. He's 13-6 and six without Tom Brady as the Patriots head coach. It's Belichick. I mean, obviously, Brady's the GOAT, but it's who's more to play, who's more reason for the success? It's Belichick. Let's look at Shanahan's record. With and without Garoppolo, and we all acknowledge, look at the Falcons' offense since he left, Shanahan's a great offensive coach. Let's look at Shanahan's record as head coach of the Niners with and without Garoppolo. You know what he is without Garoppolo, Stephen A? I think 4-20? and 20? You know what he is with Garoppolo, including the loss in the Super Bowl? 21-5. and five. I mean, basically, you just reverse it. With Garoppolo, Shanahan wins every single game practically. And without Garoppolo, he loses every single game. So if Garoppolo wasn't a real franchise quarterback, who, by the way, was number one in the NFL all last year on third down. So what, what do I consider a franchise quarterback? Can you be a game manager who's big on third down? Not only can that be a franchise quarterback, that's Tom Brady. That's the GOAT. Now, he elevated past that. But at one point or another, that was Russell Wilson and Tom Brady. Game managers who were big on third down, is that enough to win a Super Bowl? Of course it is. He didn't win it this time, but against anyone hey, other than Mahomes, he probably would have up 10 points in the fourth quarter. Hey, Max and Molly, uh, forgive me for yeah. saying this, but I wanted to welcome Pastor Jakes to the show. What's going on? Pastor Jakes, how you doing? It's good to see you. Look at, <laughs> look at you. What's going on, man? <laughs> how you doing? Preach. What's up? What's up? I didn't know Pastor Jakes was joining the show. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Floor is yours, son. I shall defer. Go you, ahead. You I didn't my, know. You get on my last no damn nerve, bro. You get... <laughs> I, oh, I can't stand you sometimes, dude. You get on my last nerve. Can we do some damn work here? Golly, bro. Yes, yes we Molly, can. Save yes, me. we can. Yes, sir. Man. Yes, sir. The, yes, sir. The question yes, is, sir. the question. Back to the question at hand. Um, 
Would you want Jimmy G as a franchise quarterback? My answer is no. I would not want Jimmy G. I would obviously want Patrick Mahomes or Deshaun Watson. Or I would want Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady in that regard. Is Jimmy G good enough to be a franchise quarterback? Absolutely. Um, based on what he's been able to do. Listen, th these th we have these conversations about quarterbacks. Like, it's a lot of great ones. It ain't. It's a few select that you would want as your franchise guy. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo can get you by. He can make enough plays to win some games and, and put you in position to win games and let other phases of the team take over. That's why I like your point, Stephen A., about the tears you go through before you get to Jimmy G as the, the headline of whatever team he's playing on. When I think franchise quarterback, this is me personally, and I'm sure a lot of fans and people out there think of franchise quarterback in this way. When it's all on the line, do I have a guy that can deliver and win games for me? That's how I think of franchise franchise quarterbacks. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm putting too much on that position. We regard the position in such a high status. I think we should regard all of the things that they need accomplish to accomplish in a high regard. And Max, to your point, all right, this whole 13 and 6 without Tom Brady and this whole Kyle Shanahan can't win without Jimmy G. Man, stop it. it. That argument is so convoluted, dude. You have so many particulars. We all know Bill Belichick well, is a much better coach. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.